and welcome to the training class for the liquid nitrogen dispensing system located on the east side of Physical Science Center building G-Wing. The recent upgrades to the liquid nitrogen fill station makes the system quite unique, designed specifically for Arizona State University. ASU Gas Services manages the system and wants to provide each user with a sufficient overview. The following video is required for all users regardless of your experience with this fill station. After viewing the video, you must complete the exam associated with the course to receive credit. ASU employees must complete the under pressure compressed gas safety training offered through Blackboard before interacting with any compressed gas cylinder or doer. Your training record will be reviewed prior to issuance of your fill station access card. Please take a moment to become familiar with University Chemical Transport Guidelines. Under no circumstances will any field doers be transported inside personal or university vehicles, including golf carts. Additionally, pressurized doers transported across public roadways is prohibited. Please contact ASU Gas Services to arrange for transportation. Hazards with cryogenic fluids such as liquid nitrogen include personal exposures like cold burns, frostbite, material and system construction compatibility, high pressure gases, explosion, implosion, asphyxiation. If you are properly trained and you follow the posted warning and prescribed procedures, you will not be at risk. You must come ready to feel wearing the following items. Safety glasses, long pants, long sleeves, and closed toe shoes. Not following this dress code could result in injury. There are safety features built into the fill station system. The emergency stop button is located on the wall outside the cage. Once pushed, this will immediately stop the system. A representative from ASU Gas Services will be automatically notified and will respond as soon as possible. Once you have completed the video training and passed the exam, ASU Gas Service will verify that the training has been completed and issue your access card. If you have any questions or would prefer one-on-one -on -one training at the system, please call 480-965-6546 or email gascylinders at asu.edu to schedule an appointment. Place the compressed doer in the designated square with the vent valve facing the fill stand and the liquid valve facing the front of the cage area. Put on your personal protection equipment. Provided at the system will be a face shield and gloves. Hearing protection is not required since the vent line is being used. You will need to bring or wear safety glasses, long pants, long sleeves or a lab coat and closed toe shoes. If any of the PPE is not available, do not proceed with the fill. Failure to wear the required PPE can lead to loss of access to the system. Remove the doer from the cart and place the cart outside the cage area. Next, connect the liquid line to the liquid valve on the doer. Make sure to bring the hose around the back side or along the fence area and connect in the front. You will need to make sure to keep the line level with the fitting while connecting. Failure to do this will result in stripping the fitting on the doer. Attach the safety cable around the doer halo. Next, make sure the safety valve on the fill stand is closed. Connect the vent line to the vent valve on the doer. Open the liquid valve and vent valve on the doer.
Open the valve on the fill stand labeled Compressed Dewar. Slide your access card. The display will show you the line temperature. Once the line cools to negative 250 degrees, the system will begin dispensing liquid. The time this will take varies. The system will take a minimum of 2 minutes to cool the lines and has a maximum of 8 minutes. Once the system has reached 8 minutes, the system will automatically shut down and you will need to reslide your card. Stand behind the red line while the doer is being filled. During the fill you will hear a high pitch whistle. You will know that the doer is full when the whistle sound stops. Close the compressed doer valve on the fill stand. Close the vent and liquid valves on the doer. Open the safety valve on the fill stand. This will release any excess liquid in the lines. Disconnect the liquid line and put on the fill stand. Disconnect the vent hose. Put the filled doer back onto the cart, making sure that the clip on the cart goes through the notch on the doer. Attach the safety straps around the doer. Take off the provided PPE. Your fill is now complete. Place the open doer and bucket in the designated area. Put on your personal protection equipment. When you come to the station, you will need to bring your safety glasses, long pants, long sleeve shirt, or lab coat that will cover your thermal glove cuffs and closed toe shoes. Provided at the system will be face shield, gloves, and ear protection. If any of the PPE is not available, do not proceed with the fill. Failure to wear the required PPE can lead to loss of access to the system. Slide your access card. The display will show you the line temperature. Once the line cools to negative 250 degrees, the system will begin dispensing liquid. The time this will take varies. The system will take a minimum of two minutes to cool the lines and has a maximum time of eight minutes. Once the system has reached eight minutes, the system will automatically shut down and you will need to reslide your card. Next, place the hose with the phase separator in the bucket. Open the valve labeled Open Doer. Stand behind the red line while the bucket is filling. When the bucket is filled, close the valve on the fill stand and hang the hose back on the fill stand. Pour the liquid into the open doer using the provided funnel. Return the provided PPE. Your fill is now complete.